Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Attack on Titan Openings and Endings. A lot of people have asked for this. Since we started the show, I reckon four to five months ago, someone actually asked us to react to the intro of season one. We just kind of skipped it for spoiler purposes. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of them in there, but we're up to date now, so it doesn't yep. apply anymore. We can watch all of them. So we're going to do the openings and the endings as well. Mm-hmm. Now, most of you will be aware that we have reacted to the entire show and I did a lot of custom intros. So I actually have heard all of the intros to some degree, granted only 20 to 30 seconds at the start. So there's a lot that I haven't heard and we've barely heard the endings. Yeah, exactly. Should we at the end of the video put all of your covers onto this video? Yeah, that would be a pretty cool idea. I didn't cover the second one though. I think halfway through season one, there was another opening, but I was late to the party. So I kind of did the first one and added them to those videos. But yeah, I think at the end of every single one that I covered, we'll put my own version there too. It might be a fun little thing to do. Most of you would have seen it already anyway, but we heard you guys and you said react to them with the subtitles on. Yes. Because they are in a different language. We don't know what they're saying. I've heard that the lyrics are really relevant to the story and everything and people have i think even said that there's like spoilers in the lyrics oh right so it'll be interesting to see how early on things are said about you know things that are relevant at the end of the series okay well i mean i'm most excited to hear the last one the last one was heavy yeah yeah it was a big song it was a very big song yeah it'll be like learning about something completely new because in my mind the other half of the intros they don't even exist i've only heard like how much you've covered of the song and that's it. Yeah. So <laughs> be like a whole new world we're discovering here. I'm actually quite keen on the visuals too. Yes. And it's more just to spark intrigue because I want to know what spoilers were actually present in the intros. Yeah. To see if maybe we really dodged the bullet not watching them, for example. Well, I'm not going to remember now. If there's a spoiler in the intro, I'm going to be like, did we know that already when we were watching XYZ in season two? Well, just just imagine that we watched it at the start of the season. Yeah, all right. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Our Patreon members have come in huge for us. They've provided us with so many links. Hopefully, they've all got the subtitles like we asked, all the lyrics. Some of them were actually quite hard to find, so... They were kind enough to step in and help us out. At the end, we might react to some of the other songs as well that are on the soundtrack, but we've heard most of them already. Yes, <laughs> in maybe, all their glory. Yeah, maybe not entirely, but we have heard most of them already. I'm not going to try and pronounce the names. We're just going to start with opening one. Love that. Yeah. Ah, uh, iconic. <laughs> <laughs> This was one of my favourite openings, I would say. So good. Oh yes, the bird references. Oh, they're all so young here. Mm. Oh, this song's epic. I like the filter they've got on the voices. Yeah. I've got to say, the lyrics are as grim as the show. I was going to say, they're quite intense. <laughs> <laughs> Not holding back. No. I like that line, though, that I've paused it on. I really do. Well, yeah, that is very relevant to the show. 100%. That's the, that's the whole premise of the show. Correct. In that one line. Well, that's Aaron's premise. Yes. Oh, we love a mid-air twirl, don't we? <laughs> Aww. Here he is, big old colossal. Oh, oh that's hectic. Wow. Oh. <laughs> the end screen has ruined this for us. I know. I can still see. The, the guitarist oh. kind of went nuts at the end, too. That felt right.
On to opening two. This was the one that I didn't cover. I still have heard the first 20 or so seconds. Yep, same. It sounds like a national anthem. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does. Mm. It's such a different vibe. <laughs> like a marching band. Yes. Oh, it changes pace. I did not know this. Wait, wait. <laughs> I just thought it was like that the whole way. Oh, it picks up. Did you hear the guitarist? <laughs> I don't even think I could have covered this. <laughs> yes, you say that about all of them. It would have taken a while. <laughs> I love that. They were showing the characters oh. on the downbeat. That was so cool. Oh, I won't let your deaths be meaningless. Oh. Dang. Why'd they have to do Armin like that? Was that Armin or Annie there? I don't know. It was someone blonde. No, it was Armin because Annie was away in the crystal at this point. Oh, wait. No, this is still season one. Yeah, this is still yeah. season one. I've really paused it inappropriately, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Big Titan butt. <laughs> is it his butt? Could be the other way, Carly. I don't think it is. So you were right. Aww. All right, some German in there, I think. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. So this one's more oh. about the scouts. I love this. Oh, Mr. A! Oh. This one is epic! Oh, oh. I'm not gonna lie, that one was a complete surprise to me. Yeah, me too. Because all I had ever heard was, you know, the... The National Anthem. Exactly. That one, the lyrics seemed more geared towards the Scouts, didn't it? It did a bit, yeah. Yeah, the people fighting for the freedom. What they were going through mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Mr. E. Oh, Mr. E. He was brilliant there. <laughs> oh, I miss him. Now, this next one by Linked Horizon was one of my favourite ones to cover. I really liked the Season 2 one. Incredible. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> ah, the flick. Look at Reiner blending in with all them. <laughs> what an asshole. Like nothing's wrong. <laughs> Oh, we all remember that, don't we? <sighs> oh, that was nice. Yeah, that was so cool. Okay. The Shredded. The Shredded. This is the first one, I think, that has featured The Shredded <laughs> in the intro. Yeah. Am I mistaken here? Did we miss him before? I don't uh, think so. I don't think so. Because he was in the very start of the show, episode seven of season one. So Yeah, that's true. I'm surprised we haven't seen The Shredded yet. But True. We did see the Colossal in the wall, though. That's a massive spoiler. Because that's at the end of season two, isn't it? No, that was at the end of season one. Ah, uh, my bad. with the animals. Okay. The beast. Oh, I wonder what the symbolism behind the animals and stuff is. I 
I missed a lot of the lyrics for that one there just because I was focused on the visual. But I guess the openings kind of flicker through scenes so quick, it is hard to kind of get a spoiler. But I'm sure like when we're really invested in the show. Yeah. Plus when there's something you haven't seen yet, it tends to stick. You're right. You're like, ooh. This is all familiar to us. Yeah. You're right. Now we're on to your favorite OP. <laughs> Red Swan. Red Swan. I think this was my most popular cover as well. Wow. Yeah. This will be the first song to feature or the first cover to feature on my Spotify when it drops. Love that. I've actually finished it. The TV size. So what you hear in this video is pretty much the length of my full cover. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's a lovely song. It is. <laughs> oh, because song. Oh. Way different vibe. I feel like, it, yeah, it focuses more on the three of them. Yeah. We always saw the end of this OP. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's in English. I didn't realize yeah. that. I'm oh, this, cry. this song is so good. Oh, Kenny. is very different on this one too. <laughs> Do you know how good this song is? <laughs> Big Aaron and Small Aaron. Yeah. It mainly has a focus on the three of them, I feel. Yeah. The main trio. We had Zeke somewhere. Where was Zeke? He was chilling with someone in there. I think it was Mr. A with his dad. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. I think. Because we hadn't seen that part of Zeke's life yet. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, that is so cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is the bit we'd always see when yeah, we cut off. Yeah, that's right. We'd always see the end. It was quite sad showing like Aaron being all serious looking out into the into the sky or out to the sea or wherever mm -hmm. he's looking there and his little self circling him and, and all that. Yeah, it's like he's kind of ignoring his humanity a little bit. Mm. Oh. You could interpret that in a lot of different ways. But yes, you could. What's the what? What did you sort of get from it? Kind of had to put all of his like happiness and past innocence. Yeah, and past behind him to focus on more important things. I guess. I don't know. Mm. I felt like that was the most powerful scene of the OP. Yeah. Red Swan's elite. <sighs> it is. It makes me feel some ways. I'm a bit teary now. It's fantastic. Right, OP5. This was the hardest one for me to, to record. This one took me the longest. <laughs> really punk rock. Mm -hmm. Ah, there he is, Levi. Oh, stroked with cold hands many times. Dang. Oh, there he is. Oh, the scatter shot of doom. You hate to say it. I feel like this one's got a lot of spoilers in it. Yeah, it really does. Like, this is the whole battle of Shigenshina, isn't it? Yes. 
This is the whole thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> is this song talking about the betrayal of the others? Is that what it's talking about? What were referred to as the cold hands? Was that the Titans or was that like the imposters? I'd say the imposters. Okay. Because it all sort of turns around here, like who is the actual enemy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, They're shredded. What a great fight. Oh my gosh! It's kind of like beyond. It's yeah. It's kind of like they're close to the truth. Remember, this was part two, season three, part two. So they were about to reach the basement. Yes, Mm. that's right. This was our favorite season as well. Ah, the basement. It would trigger us every time we saw it. Mm-hmm. I always heard that end part, and I just love the little harmonies of the guitar and the piano and stuff there. I'll take it back. Mm. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's got some fairy vibes in mm. there. My War, so season four, part one opening had a much different vibe than the other songs. I'll have to refresh my memory and watch it again because I seem to have forgotten a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I remember straight away. Yeah, of course you do. It's (laughs) iconic. Oh, this one's so good. It's got like those kid sounding voices. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they were pitched down. I'm pretty sure it is like kids. Well, yeah, whatever it is, it sounds like kids. Mm. Oh my gosh, so many explosions. The animation's way different. The explosions sort of look like a titan face for a second there. Oh, the falling birds. This one's in English too. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Key change. Yes. A bit higher. Yeah, the animation in this one's way different. You see all those dead birds as well? This one's very grim. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, angels planning disguise with devil's faces. Wait. Hey. Very theatrical. That was the shredded. This is the one that everyone wanted me to see, especially, because <laughs> it's quite heavy. This is the one I've been waiting for. 
This is probably my favorite from what I heard. Like I heard an instrumental. Yep. And like five seconds of the start, obviously every time we were watching the episodes. Yep. And a little bit towards the end as well. That's just the nature of how we have to watch it unless it's got the skip intro tab. Yes, exactly. Which would be handy for all of them, but they never... They <laughs> Sometimes never... they don't put it in there no. for whatever reason. <laughs> Infuriating. But this one's called The Rumbling by <laughs> SIM or SIM. And we can already see the opening lyrics. <laughs> Seems to be all about the rumbling. So the I guess, rumbling, how th- fitting. Yeah, so this is probably going to have heaps of spoilers in it. Oh, gosh. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Almost got a little bit teary-eyed there for a second. Yeah, you love that. I can tell. I have to take that back. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't expect it to go that hard. Wow. I'll just clear up now that most of the time when I'm reacting to songs... I get overwhelmed and I laugh. It's not because I'm mocking the song in by any means. Sometimes when I'm overwhelmed, I laugh because of how amazing it is. So please don't get me wrong there. <laughs> Laughing because it's insanely amazing. Yeah. Oh, I can't. This is perfect for the rumbling. Yes. It says the final season. That's a complete lie. Well. I guess the next part is part of this season. They'll say part three instead <laughs> of season five. Yep. There he is. Mr. Serious oh. Aaron. I've got so much to break down. I'm sorry for pausing it. <laughs> So the lyrics was like, all I ever wanted to do was the right thing. I never wanted to be the king. And then the screamer comes in, I swear. It's just like <laughs> summing up Aaron perfectly. So good. Like, you know, he might have good intentions, but then that scream's kind of indicating like he's, he's also quite dark. He's quite a dark man. Mm-hmm. Oh, the emotion in this song. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the Warhammer. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I can't pause it. Oh, this is clear number one. Go back into the screen. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Stop. That was too freaking good. I don't know if I'm going to watch another anime opening that's better than that. <laughs> well said. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's funny. It's like not an emotional sounding song, but, no. you know, it's quite emotional because it sums up like Erin's psych so well. I think it perfectly spoke the words of the season. I'm like, going to listen to it again. The emotion captured in the song. Oh, gosh. I think I'm going to focus on the lyrics more this time. A lot of spoilers, though, I have to say. <laughs> so many. Who was that? That was Zeke and Aaron there. Okay. I love this bit. <sighs> Cemetery scene there.
I have full blown chills. Literally same. I'm crying again. Is this <laughs> referring to himself? Like if I lose it all, like as in his humanity? I think so, because of what he's sacrificed for his friends. Yeah. You know what's amazing about this, right? I can't believe I never really said it during our reactions, but it's obviously clear in this. I never really, like, put it together that what Eren is doing is destroying so much of what he wanted to actually see. Yeah. Just to save his friends. That's kind of what the lyrics also allude to quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It's magnificent. It makes me feel ways. Like, the lyrics in the song takes me right back to what it's talking about in those lyrics. Mm -hmm. And it just elevates all of those emotions. Like, it perfectly captures the emotions yeah, you remember in the all, show. Yeah, you remember all those scenes and, and all that. Annie was in this, by the way. That's a massive spoiler. Yeah. We didn't know she came back. That's true. And obviously, like, it starts off with all the colossals coming out of the wall. Now, look... <laughs> We assumed that there was going to be a rumbling, but that, yeah. kind, that kind of just confirms it. Yeah. And spoils the build-up, I guess. Oh, dang. That's got to be number one as well for me. Oh, 100%. That won't get beaten. All right, now we'll move on to the endings. I think we kind of already said what our favorite one was anyway. <laughs> we don't really need to look back on many of the openings. I'm pretty sure the last one was just clear number one. They were all great. Mm -hmm. But the last one was just next level. Oh, yeah, 100%. I didn't expect that chorus as well. I reckon the, the prereq for the, the song was pain, end of the world. Yeah. Lots of scream. That, that's what I like. They broke up the screaming with a really nice melodic chorus. Yeah. The band is great, by the way. Does so that too? good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I remember this piano. Do you remember this? Yeah, it's coming back. Because we always heard the start bit of, of the ending. Yes, that's right. Aww. Right, more of a ballad in the endings. Oh, Will Mikasa. Okay, stepping up a bit. This is way different. It is very different. Okay. I like. I kind of like that yeah. they made the ballads go at the end, and they hype everyone up before the episodes yes. at the start. They probably thought that we need some comfort after the episodes. You're so They've right. Given us the piano. You're so right. Yeah. We know elevator music is coming at the end too. Yes. Can't remember which season that was. I'm pretty sure it was season three. Mm. All Mikasa. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, I said it was calm. 
Calm. Yeah, it's like calm music. Yeah, it's picking up a little bit. A little bit. I mean, there was some <laughs> crazy guitar and orchestral work there. <laughs> orchestral work. Yeah, yeah, there was like the violins and stuff going over the guitar. Crazy. There he is. Did the scarf fall off? No, it didn't. Oh, yeah, that was nice. That was nice. I quite like that one. Now, I know the second ending starts off really heavy. I do remember it. Because yeah. I've got a really good memory when it comes to, like, the first five, ten seconds of songs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some pretty intense drum work there. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Okay. I kind of got like a really nice guitar there isolated onto the right headphone. That was really nice. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sasha. Oh, triggering characters. <laughs> Very skilled guitarists in this band. Oh my gosh. Oh. The shredded. <laughs> is epic what yeah. the heck is going on there's so much good music that we haven't heard <laughs> i know right we knew the ost was good but we haven't heard any of this no this is magnificent this gets me the group shots What is this pip? Oh. Okay. <laughs> this song reminds me of the sort of music I used to listen to when I was in high school. Cute. Yeah, it really does. All right, now we've got ending number three. The, the last one's going to be hard to beat, the one that I just heard. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, check out that artwork, though. I might need to blur out the the stray nip there. Oh my gosh! Okay, this this is way different. It's very dark. Oh, oh, they're eating their mum. Yeah, we remember that. I wouldn't call this sort of music enjoyable. This kind of sounds like. Hear me out being sung by small demons. That's just the vibe I'm getting. Oh, this is dark ass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Interesting music to have on while the Titans are in the background. Yes. Is that your meal? I'm Who just was terrified I am. <laughs> that one was interesting. Not my cup of tea. No, neither. Music and what I was looking at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they were both kind of as terrifying as each other. Yeah. I don't think I'll hear that one ever again. No. All right. Ending four. Requiem de... 
Requiem, I'm going to go with. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to insult anyone that might be German if this is German. So I'm just going to go with Requiem. Ah, uh, yes. I remember this one. Mm-hmm. It's a lovely little nursery rhyme. You reckon it's going to change on us? And go to, like, Screamo? No, I doubt it. <laughs> Oh, this is really nice. This is like Historia season, wasn't it? Was it part one, season three? I think so, yeah. Oh, that's sad. This kind of sounds like the intro to that season, the opening. It's like they slowed down this bit or something. I thought it sounded familiar. Are my ears correct here? They usually are pretty decent, my ears. Okay. I'm going to say that they've like slowed one of the parts of the intros down and added it to this ending. We should have watched intros, then outros. Like intro, outro, intro, outro. Instead yeah. of all the intros, then all the outros. I don't know, but I was like hyped the whole way through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> You remember that part, don't you? Yeah. That was when Levi, that was the post credit scene. And then it did that yeah, midnight messed up sun. thing. Midnight sun. Okay, that's, yeah. So maybe this is part two of season three then. Oh, no, 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 no. This was part one, so I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> this was the last episode of season three, part one, where we got that post credit scene. Yes. Yeah, the Levi one, yeah. And then that got resolved. In part two, episode 18. Okay. Is that Freda? Yeah. Historia getting some love here. Yeah, it's nice to see. Yeah. She's got more screen time in this ending than... Stop. <laughs> Then she got in the last two seasons, but. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. All right, so this is ending five, season three, part two, which is the elevator music. Oh, okay, this is what you were talking about. Yeah. Well, you actually labeled it elevator music. It was Why? you. Yeah, it was you that said it. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Elevator music. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, great. It's really sad. <laughs> this is Korean. Oh. Yeah. I've listened to a lot of K-pop. I'm pretty sure this is Korean. That's interesting. Nice variety here. Yeah, I love that. This is giving me some serious season one nostalgia right now. Mmm. Shaders with the potatoes. Sasha. What's and the, the angry face. <laughs> yeah. This is a really sad one. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at that shot. Oh, that's really not. That vocal is really nice. Mm. Is it Person has a really nice falsetto. This is a really sad one. I don't yeah. like it. It's, it's making me sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> Speak 
speaks true after the end of season four. Yeah. At least they still kind of have their memories, you know, <laughs> with each other. Yeah. That was a sad one. Most of these have been quite sad. Yeah, they have. I don't like the endings as much as the openings. Look, you don't come to Attack on Titan to be happy. You're completely right. All right, season four ending. Ending six. It says that it's called Shock, but I'm pretty sure I saw that it was called Shogeki or something. Okay. Sh Shongeki. Wow. Beautiful voice. The piano is very dissonant. They've put in some interesting note choices. Mm. Very interesting. Some of them don't belong to the key. But it works, no? Yeah, well, I feel like something's going to happen. Oh, I see. As I said that. <laughs> Oh, that's really nice. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that like a phoenix or something? Falcon. <laughs> so is the message here that they want to be remembered? Yeah, I guess For their so. service. Yeah. Love this. Falco and Gabby getting a lot of screen time here. Yeah. Okay. All right, and this is the last one now. A lot of people did want us to pay attention to the lyrics here, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty important one. What does this song translate to? A child of evil? Damn it. I saw Erin on the, on the front there too. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who it's about then. His scarf's red. His eyes are coloured in, but he's blacked out. Mm, the blood as well. Oh. about that freedom isn't it yeah this one's really nice so the lyrics speaking from Aaron's pov i'm pretty sure yeah it seems like it is he talking to mikasa is that why he's got the scarf on and whatnot quite possibly remember the scarf came off him yeah around this age well the scarf just flew into a bird so does that mean that mikasa being away from Aaron means that she's free is that is that the symbolism there that's a nice one. I'm pretty sure it is. Mm. She can be free if she's away from Aaron. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. the heck? Oh, wow. <laughs> as nice as this is, if this is from Eren's point of view, why are we getting this in an ending? Are That's what I'm saying. I need this to be during the show. Why didn't he say any of these words to her during the show? Listen, if this did happen during the show, it would be all over for me. It already looks you like it is. think this is bad? You put that in the in the heat of the show, I'm done. Maybe season four, part three. If that happens, I think you could see my first stray tear on the channel. Wow. It could happen. It could. It hasn't happened yet for you or me, so <laughs> that would be big. Yeah, usually just sweat for me. Yeah. I took it all the way back 
to before the climax. Okay. The animation is beautiful. My goodness, man. It's like a Disney movie. Oh, older Aaron. Oh my goodness, man. Season four, part two wins just overall, doesn't it? Yeah. Opening and ending. Just 100%. smashed all the other ones, even though the other ones were fantastic. Smashed it out of the park. I mean, the animation in the last one was incredible. It was so beautiful. I think that was the best animation out of them as well, mm. in my personal opinion. Now, what happened there it was like Aaron kind of went up in flames there. Well, that's what happened to his scarf. It sort of had that rainbow flame sort of vibe about it mm. i'm not quite sure what the symbolism there is at the end i mean i'm sure people will get theorizing in the comment section but i don't know is it kind of like he has no place to be in a beautiful place like that because of all the bad things he's doing maybe he he's just doing it for like mikasa and armin or mainly mikasa in this one by the looks of things yeah quite possibly i'm really not too sure as much as i love that I actually got pretty annoyed. Like, he never said anything like that during the show. <laughs> he actually treated her terribly the whole way through. He really did. Except for that one time. And now he's written a, a love song. <laughs> oh, you think Aaron wrote that? Well, I mean, it's from Aaron's point of view is what I'm saying. We got the one nice scene we did, and it was quite reminiscent here in the ending. We got that one nice scene at the end of season two, the mm -hmm. one where you lost it. Yeah, I did. I lost it. Big time. Yeah. We got that, but that was it. Now, I think we'll finish off with an extra video. We've pretty much seen all the Symphony Suite. I think that's what it's called. But there was one that we haven't seen in its entirety yet. I've seen a little bit of it. I don't think you've seen the whole thing. You see Big Girl, which was the track played behind Reiner and Bert's transformation. Okay. It's incredible. Um, and then there's the Attack on Titan one as well, which I've seen in its entirety. I know you've heard it, but I don't know if you've seen the performance. So we'll listen to those two. If you don't hear them, it's because there's a copyright strike <laughs> or it's been claimed. Fingers crossed. None of that. So we'll react to it anyway, but be prepared to maybe sync up your own version if things go south here. <laughs> now we're pretty much just going to be watching and listening. There's like no captions here or subtitles, but that's fine. The songs add so much to the show. Just get rid of this ad. <laughs> wow, she's got an angelic voice. Mmm. Oh, I love this song so much. I put this one second on my list. Only second to Attack on Titan. That's big. Yeah, I put this one second and then Barricade's third. I love that siren sound. She's so good. She's amazing. The production's amazing as well. It's building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the part that was played over Reiner's part and Bert's. I know. Massive.
Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so good. How, dude? the vibe in this room. <laughs> How good a melody. He's the composer, I'm pretty sure. Really? Man on the piano there. Very talented man. Yeah, I can't pronounce his name. Hiroyuki Sawano? I'll give that a crack. He's magnificent. He's incredible. Oh, the production sounds amazing. All right, the last one we'll react to is my favorite song on the soundtrack. I've watched this whole video. I think maybe you've seen a part of it. You probably don't remember it, though. Possibly. We've already seen the lyrics to this one. Someone put it in the comment section of our finale video. Dark, to say the least. So dark. <laughs> oh, I can't get enough of this song. <laughs> Same composer again? Mm -hmm. Stop. He does all of them. No. She's the goat. Voice of an angel she's, again. She's the goat right here. My gosh. Mr. Cello back there. <laughs> Killing it. Oh my gosh. I love the little guitar parts that they've put in the left and the right headphones. Mm. Epic. It builds so well. I'm really appreciating Mr. Cello. Yeah, he's epic. Absolutely killing it. Swipe. Stop this. She is elite. I would lose a lung. I love that effect on, on the guitar. Yeah. Slap bass. <laughs> this one? Mm hmm Oh my gosh. So much emotion in this song. Oh. 
<laughs> this was always the part in the song where I'd get the goosebumps. Yes. You know, when it dropped and you saw whatever was happening on the screen, it was always a big deal. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pretty badass being any one of those musicians right now. Oh, uh, this song is just. No, this is clear number one for me. It is. He's a genius, this man. His brain is incredible for doing that. That was amazing. I think we had all of the same favorites. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so opening seven, the rumbling, brilliant. Yeah, best opening. Ending seven mm -hmm. as well. Yep, best ending. <laughs> And Attack on Titan, favorite song. Yeah, I, I would say that's my favorite song in the whole soundtrack. Oh, now the rumbling is close, though. Honestly, yes. Especially after hearing that, like, mm. right side by side next to each other. It's just the Attack on Titan song, the one that we just heard there at the end. It's very iconic. Yeah, it is iconic, and it captures the whole essence of the show, you know? Yes. So I'm going to stick with that as my favorite. It's just too good. It's too good. So good. This will probably be our favorite soundtrack, I reckon, that we hear. I'm not going to go early on something, but this seems very hard to top. Mm. My personal favorite is Bruce Falcone's Dragon Ball Z soundtrack, but, you know, this and Bruce's soundtrack are so far up in the stratosphere for me that I don't think anything's going to touch it. I know, right? Please let us know down below what your favorite openings, endings, and favorite overall song of the show were. We'd be really interested to know. I think the next Attack on Titan video on the channel will be the Lost Girls OVA reaction. We still haven't seen that one, so we're going to watch that, I think, soon. Probably in the next week or so. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.